Hey, hey, so I'm back with another recipe video. This time we are making a much simpler version of the body yogurt. I showed you guys how to make a watermelon body yogurt a couple weeks ago. A lot of you guys complained that there was too many ingredients. So here we are back with a simpler version. So hopefully most of you guys have these ingredients on hand. If you don't know what a body yogurt is, a body yogurt is literally a lotion, but it's much more lightweight and it's also like more jiggly and more fun. And uh, it literally has like barely any rub in time. So it's perfect for the summertime. Or if you're somebody who hates putting on lotion and then putting on jeans after, this is a great alternative to that. But don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload. So we are gonna be making a 300 gram batch. If you don't know how to transfer formulas written in percents into recipes in grams, then watch my video to figure out how to do that. I'll link it down below. So we are gonna be starting with phase A, which is the water phase. And I'm using 223.5 grams of distilled water. So instead of distilled water, you could use a hydrosol, essence water, or aloe vera liquid if you would like. Then I'm gonna be adding in some glycerin. This is a humectant, it helps hydrate the skin. It's really inexpensive and it's commonly used in skincare products. Check any of the products you have in your bathroom, it's most likely in there, and in hair care products. So I'm adding in 15 grams of the glycerin. You could use propendiol or a different humectant if you would like. And then I'm just mixing it all together and setting it to the side and starting on phase B, which is the oil phase. I'm gonna be using caprylic capric triglyceride. It's because it's really lightweight, it's odorless, it's clear, it's non-greasy and it absorbs into your skin so easily. And I'm using 45 grams of it, but you could use any kind of lightweight oil like jojoba oil instead. Then I'm gonna be using some cetyl alcohol. And even though it's an alcohol, trust me, this is moisturizing. So don't fear fatty alcohols. I'm using it as a opacifier in this formula because if we don't have it, it would just be like a clear gel. So this is gonna make it have like that creamy consistency and I used six grams of it. Then the next ingredient is cefamaxin. This is a pre-neutralized polymer, meaning you don't need to adjust the pH in order to get it to gel. It'll just gel automatically. This creates clear, transparent gels, but since we're using the subtle alcohol, this formula obviously won't turn out clear. And it also acts as an emulsifier. It emulsifies up to 25% oil. So I don't have any substitutes for this ingredient. You need this ingredient for this body yogurt to work. It's a very unique ingredient and I added in six grams of it. All right, so that makes phase A and phase B complete, but quickly we're gonna go back to phase A. Stay with me here and grab your scale. Place phase A, the water phase, on your scale and write down how much it weighs because we are gonna be heating up both phase A and phase B in a water bath and it will cause some of the water to evaporate. So we'll have to replace that water afterwards. But I like to cover both of my beakers with foil. You don't need to, I just personally like to do this. And place both beakers in a pan with about an inch of water. And then you wanna place it over your stovetop on about medium heat and just let it chill there until everything in phase B is melted. And you want phase A to be right around the same temperature. Doesn't need to be exact. You just want it to be hot just like phase B. That way you can mix everything together. So once those are all done, heating up, we can remove both from the heat, but first we need to weigh phase A, the water phase, real quick, just to replace any water that evaporated. Mine only had less than one gram evaporate, so not really very much will evaporate. Anyways, pour the water phase, phase A, into phase B, and then you want to immediately mix with your immersion blender. And don't worry if the Sepamax Zen doesn't dissolve in uh, the oil phase, it most likely won't. It'll just mix all together once you blend it with the immersion blender. And you'll notice it immediately gels and thickens and just does its thing very quickly. But you do want to let it cool to room temperature before adding in phase C, which is the cool down ingredients. This includes any ingredients that are heat sensitive and that includes our preservative, Liquid Dermal Plus. This is the easiest preservative to use and it's the only one I recommend for beginners. Very inexpensive. And I added in 1.5 grams of the Liquid Dermal Plus. And then I'm gonna be using a fragrance oil from Brambleberry. It is called Lemonade Stand. They sent it to me, oh my gosh, I got my first PR box and I freaked out. 
But uh, yeah, I used Lemonade Stand fragrance oil from Brambleberry, but you can use whatever fragrance oil your little heart desires. And I used 1%, which is three grams, but make sure you follow the suggested usage rate of the fragrance oil you use or essential oil that you use. And I mixed it all together and it'll just mix right in and it'll still be all jelly and creamy and beautiful. It won't thin anything out, but I'm gonna actually cover mine and let it sit overnight. You don't need to. I was just ready to go home and I was done for the day. So here we are the next day. You need to check the pH. If you don't know how to check adjust pH, watch my video all about pH. I'll link it down below. The natural pH was right around 4.66. So you don't have to worry about adjusting the pH, which is freaking awesome. Also, I do recommend using a like squeezy bottle for this product just because it avoids you having to put your hands in the product and it will keep it from, you know, going bad much, uh, much better. But for the sake of the video, I'm putting it in a jar because I can just get a lot prettier shots that way. But if you're not a YouTuber and taking pictures of your products, then definitely put it in the package that is uh, makes the most sense. And that would be a squeeze bottle. But again, for the sake of the video, it's going in a jar because I gotta show you guys all these beautiful shots of how gorgeous and jiggly it is. And I can't do that if it's in a bottle. And just look at that rub-in time. There is literally like no rub-in time with this product. And it just feels very non-existent on your skin after it's rubbed in. So it's perfect for people who want a lightweight lotion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this formula and uh, go check out the watermelon body yogurt too, because I actually think that one feels better on the skin. I'm just gonna be honest. That one is a much higher uh, grade and advanced formula that just feels better on the skin. It feels way better than this one. But also go check out my Patreon because on Patreon, I post two exclusive videos every single month. And I also create blog posts that go along with this video. So you guys can print out the recipes. It makes it so much easier. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this formula and I'll talk to you guys next time. Later.